in the outskirts of a bustling residence. There lived Grandpa Joe, who likes to help people. During a school holiday, Dave, his grandson, witnessed all of these and asked him, why he always gives out even to strangers? Let me tell you a story, child. Once upon a time, in a charming little town, lived a young girl named Ava. Every morning on her way to school, Ava would pass by a warm and inviting bakery named Tom's Treats. Good morning, Mr. Baker. Good morning, dear. Have a wonderful day at school. Ava and Tom had a sweet tradition. Each day, they'd greet each other with a smile, a simple act that brightened their mornings. Days turn into weeks. Ava, usually a bright spark, is missing from her morning routine. The bakery seems quieter without her cheery greet. Tom's heart filled with concern. Ava's absence cast a shadow over his days. He decided to do something about it. Tom visits the school <laughs> and speaks with a friend who teaches in the school, a kind woman with gentle eye. Tom didn't know Ava's name, but he described her bright smile and happy greetings. He learned from the teacher that Ava's family was struggling financially and she might not be able to continue school. Tom learned about Ava's mother's struggles and understood how desperate their situation was. But Tom had an idea. Tom found Ava's house and saw her hunched over a book trying to read on her own. How are you, Ava? Is your mother at home? Mr. Baker, what are you doing here? Yes, she is at home. He had a chat with Ava's mother who explained their struggles. Tom knew he couldn't afford much, but he offered her a job at the bakery. Together, they could help Ava continue her education. Though the pay was small, it was enough to get Ava back in school, her smile brighter than ever. Thank you, Tom. You are sure a lifesaver. After a period, Ava's mother got called for a bigger job in another state, leading to mother and daughter moving to a new place. Years passed, Ava graduates from school, then college, and finally becomes a doctor. Her passion to help others, ignited by her past and her faith in Jesus, led her to medical missions. She always keeps this scripture in mind, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Ava volunteers for a medical outreach program in a rural area. As she treats patients, a familiar face catches her eye, sending a jolt of recognition through her, an old man with kind eyes. It's Tom, struggling with sick, his eyes filled with a flicker of confusion. Dr. Ava rushes to embrace Tom, tears welling up in her eyes. Tom is stunned. Ava poured out her story. Tom, overwhelmed with emotion, realized the little girl he'd helped had become a compassionate doctor. She took care of him and he became a happy man again. From that day onward, Dr. Yeva became Tom's family. Tom realized that the impact of his small act of kindness has come back as his blessing. And so, the circle of giving came full circle. What started as a simple act of kindness grew into a life-changing gift. Do you know why you should give now, child? For in helping others, we plant seeds that bloom into blessings beyond measure. Please like and subscribe for more videos.